Good evening YouTube, Full Circle Review back here again with another review and this time I have Tillamook Malted Moose Shake Ice Cream, Smooth Rich Malted Vanilla Ice Cream with Chocolatey Fudge Chips from Cows Not Treated with RBST. I don't know what that stands for. Serving size is two-thirds of a cup at 240 calories, 13 grams of fat, 27 grams of carbs, and 4 grams of protein. So this is a fairly calorically dense ice cream. Now, it's been hit and miss with Tillamook. I have high hopes, low expectations. We know what it takes to make ice cream you can't stop thinking about. It's going all in on everything you crave most, a whole lot of cream, the very best ingredients, and 100 plus years of crafting dairy deliciousness. Okay, so smooth, rich, malted vanilla ice cream with chocolatey fudge chips. Nice protective seal. I've noticed that they have shrunk their packaging. Used to it was, um... Actually, you know what? I don't know what size it was. I think it was one and three quarters quart, or maybe half a gallon. But now it's one and a half quart. Now it's just upsetting because it's the same price for lesser ice cream. But it looks just like vanilla. It's just white. Not going to show up good on camera at all. It's going to look terrible. Few black specks. But I'm not sure what they're going for here. Malted mousse shake. I've never had a malted shake. That is definitely creamy. My word, that's creamy. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not super dense. This is a lighter, airier ice cream, but it's super creamy. Spreads across the palate, almost buttering. It's rich, but it's not as dense as some ice creams. It's a lot airier than like Ben & Jerry's. Definitely get a strong malt flavor. Tastes a lot like a malty, uh, a um, Whopper. There are two chocolate flakes. Chocolate has a great fudge flavor, just like the fudge flakes you get in mint chocolate chip. Love the texture. They're crispy, then they're soft, then they're fudgy. I just wish there were more of them. The malt flavor here is extremely strong. It almost overpowers the vanilla. Definitely strong malt flavor. I really I don't know what flavor they're going for here. But it's almost like, the best way I know how to describe their ice cream is imagine whipped butter with sugar. It's definitely creamy. Personally, I prefer a denser, icier ice cream. I think they did a great job doing a vanilla malt here. Very clean, very natural, smooth, buttery ice cream. I just feel like it's too one note because there's so few fudge flakes. There's barely any fudge flakes in here. Mainly, I just get an overpower of malt. And this just seems to be lacking. And the thing is, I don't know what they could do to fix it. I mean, maybe if they did a chocolate swirl with vanilla malt and chocolate chips. It's just so one-dimensional. Because I don't know what goes good with vanilla malt. It's an odd flavor. It's not bad. It's just it's different.
But their quality control is terrible. I mean, there's literally like maybe three chocolate chips in this entire container. Maybe if this had cookie pieces, it needs something. It's just, I prefer regular vanilla over this just because regular vanilla I could add something to. This, I don't know what I could add to to enhance. Clean, buttery, rich ice cream. Little light and airy in my opinion when it comes to ice creams, but that's because of high quality ingredients. Vanilla is there, completely overpowered by the malt. Very strong, prominent malt flavor. If you want malt, this is malt all the way. Uh, the only issue on what they're advertising is there's barely any chocolate chips. I mean, barely any. Other than that, this is spot on malt. Um... 92 out of 100. I'm not going to buy it again. But it's spectacular quality. The flavors are good and natural. I think it's great. I just wish there was more going on. Definitely, if you like malt, you're going to love this. I'm thinking maybe if you want to make a milkshake, a malted milkshake, this would be a good option because then you wouldn't have to buy malt powder. You could just drop the ice cream in milk. But, I don't know, maybe I just, I didn't have malt growing up. It's just different. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to comment down below what you'd like to see next. I'll try to go out, buy the product you want to see me review. But, um, I appreciate your time and y'all take care.